Welcome back to Final Fantasy IX. I am still Shinji. Let's go. From now on, I'm going to be cutting out the battles. Oh, well, I'm just may as well cut this one out then. Oh god, no, I can't cut it out. It's a new enemy. Oh, and it's a mag attack. Great. So these guys are kind of like the Pisco Demons from Final Fantasy I. <clears throat> Except for in those games, they were just called the Wizards. I am going to be running from this battle, but I did want to keep it in because I wanted to show Drakon these guys. Um, well, if you could run, that would be splendid. Mustard Bomb. Oh, that's why I kept body temperature on. I knew there was something in here that did that. So Mustard Bomb, if we ha have we not seen that yet? What that does is causes the heat status. The heat status is terrible because basically you're dead. Um, oh, missed. Well, what it is, is if it's inflicted upon one of your characters, you can't take any actions, otherwise you die. There's the opposite, which is freeze, and you're frozen. And it's, it's the same thing, just to get stopped right away. So yeah, let's just do that. We run after we waste our MP. What a great start to the video! But yeah, body temp, that, ab that ability stops those that statuses. We'll be needing a lot later on, too. Actually, not that much later on. So we're getting pretty far into the game here. Once we get through this, there's not a whole lot to worry about. And well, actually, the la very last couple bosses are pretty tough unless you unless you're leveled enough. All right, but as I said, I will be cutting out the battles if they're enemies you've already seen. I'm just going to equip the twist headband just so we can get gamble defense out of the way. I should put Quinn in the back. I did heal as well. I should put Quinn in the back row, but uh, whatever. We'll just keep going. We'll see how it goes from here. The issue with this dungeon isn't the um, isn't so much the enemies, it's just the whole puzzle. Oh, it's just so annoying. It's just so it's just tedious. Like, so what we have to do here, initially, there's three little candle things here. Light them all. And that's the only way to get rid of that stained glass wall there. And then we go through this way. And that's that. Now we're done. Now we can just finish. We can just end the game now. Oh. This reminds me of a dungeon we'll see later. That centerpiece, that's where we're headed. You can get there a simple way. Uh, well, slightly simple, but I... We, ha we have to do it the right way. Um, what do we do? Do we... I think we... Light them all. Because, see, as you can see, certain candles will do certain things here. So, what did that do? I, I wasn't paying attention. What did that do? Let's light this one and see what happens. Oh, this is going to be a slow video. Okay, no, that's not right. Let's get rid of this one. I think it's the bottom left one that we have to just continue, or that we have to light. And that should be it. And then should... I think that stained glass on the right will open. Not at all. Oh, okay, no, that's fine, because we can go back this way. And then we can get into the middle. Oh, I would really like, like no encounters right now. I don't know if the Steam version has that, because I know the Steam version of Final Fantasy VII has that. What is this, dude? Eye of the Archon. The path will open when all lamps are lit. Well, that's the plan. Let's go ahead and light this, then. Can you light this? Oh, man, I am lost. Well, let's go back. Shit, I'm so sorry. Oh, wait, no, no. Oh, I'm going to quickly look at my guide. Hang on. Well, okay. I have my guidebook open on my lap here. So, let's go ahead and just follow the guide. I have no shame. I can't do this by memory. I mean, I think I, I think I used to, and you know, I just haven't played in so long. So that's that. We already read this, right? Yeah, we did. So then we light these two thingies. Once all the lamps are lit, the path will open. That is the key. So then the two statues in the middle should still be gone, and that one should open up. Correct? No? Well, let's go try and light this one. I haven't read that far into the guide. Oh, we can do it now, so that must be it. Oh, and there's the bloodstone. Yes, as I said, the bloodstones are important. They give you items, but they are also helpful for the boss, which I'll explain once we get to the boss. Offering a power, faithful power, and extract magic from the chain. Inspect the bloodstone. So you have an option to inspect it. So, which might lead you to believe, or might lead you to think that you shouldn't do it, but whatever. Just do it. Trust me. Well, I guess trusting me wouldn't be a good decision in this case, considering I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, Quinn and Vivi leveled up, and he finally learned High Tide. So that's nice. I wish we had another fork to give him, but we don't. So onwards. Ugh, it's just so stressful doing this, just because like, I don't want to screw up. Uh, I, I wish this place had different music, though, because it ha plays Kuja's music, but I feel like if it had creepier music, it would be, f more, be more suit. 
more suiting, or more fitting. Offering a power from Wraithful Paladin to extract the strength to resist from the armor. Inspect the Bloodstone. As I said, always inspect the Bloodstone on shield armor. We can't, none of our characters can use that. That's fine, though. What do we get anyways? Anklet, shield armor, something else. Man, I was getting all kinds of fucked up in that battle. The uh, the, dr the Drakens, which are like the, you know, the Pisco Demons I was saying. They use Mind Blast, and which confuses, and it's just, oh, that's what they're known for. It's bullshit. It took, it was a long battle, I'll tell you what, like, jeez. So anyways, let's go ahead and equip Aquamarine, because we're done learning Shiva, because we want Leviathan, because that's awesome. And he finished learning, he slash she finished learning level up, so we're just going to give you Quincy. Quinzelcodal. Absorb MP, that would be nice. I don't really care about the stats right now, I just want to learn abilities as quick as I can, because I haven't been keeping up with that. So yeah, we'll put that on. Man, I need to heal a lot, though. Just because of the whole... Well, we're not very high level. We don't have a lot of HP to begin with, so... I'm going to go ahead and use an Aether on some of these guys, because... Well, because they need it. Man, it just feels like I'm really, like, not leveled enough. But, hey, whatever. Let's just keep going. Iko, get in there! Iko! Oh, there's stairs. <laughs> Thought I had to go through the door. Anyways! This thingy. Oh, is this, this is the right one, yeah? Okay, yes. I mean, I guess it's kind of self-explanatory. Oh, come on. Man, that was another back attack. Like, 65% of the battles that I've been getting into have been back attacks. And Iko just learned something. She learned Reflect. I'm not going to announce the level ups anymore, because they're just happening way too frequently. Let's put another uh, thingy on you, just while we can. Insomniac, that was the ability I was thinking of earlier. I'll put on that, because those dragons have been fucking using Freeze and Mustard Bomb on us like no other. But they have been missing, but thankfully. Oh, the dreaded library section. Why is it dreaded? Because I said so. So, light that candle and go up this way. Yes, I did refer to my guide because, like I said, I know I should. it's not very professional. Not that I am professional. It's the right way to go, right? Well, let's go ahead and see. But hey, I don't want to just be fumbling around here doing nothing, so. Offering a power. Faithful Paladin, extract the power to dodge from the Bracer. Inspect the Bloodstone. I think there's only like two more bloodstones to go. Oh no, there's more. Oh no, there's a whole other section I totally forgot about. And we already have one of those. Yeah, this equipment would be good if we hadn't done a lot of chocobo hunting in the past like we did. Oh crap, is it this one? Oh, you can't even light that one. Good. The less work we have to... What? Wise man's folly. Unlit stained glass opens. The path lit. Well, that works too. Uh, that other candle down there, I'm not sure... I haven't read past this part in my guide. Let's just go ahead and do this. It said unlit stained glass, but we're just lit stained glass. I think the rest... No, the rest is not self-explanatory. I mean, like I was saying earlier, just touch everything that you can. But... Oh shit, let's just go back and see what happens. Because I feel like that's what we're supposed to do. I should refer to the guide, like I said, and stop making mistakes. I'm sure somebody's watching... Oh, I don't know. If anybody is watching this and they know more about this than me, then geez. No, keep that up there. Then I'm sorry, is what I was going to say. Can we? Yes. Oh, thank God. That is the right thing to do. There's another bloodstone here. Or is that just a candelabra? Alright, now what the hell did that do? Okay, I will just hang on. Crap, what have I done? Oh, okay. Yeah, that was the right thing to do. Did you hear that, Kubo? A Moogle? Oh man. Auto Potion and Gamble Defense, learned by Ico and Quina, respectively. Uh, we'll keep that on, because we need Holy. What did you learn? Gamble Defense? Okay, we'll switch you to something magical. Nah, uh, no, okay, well, whatever. I'm making this out to be a lot more difficult than it actually is, because, yeah, now that we did that, we can walk through this. This used to be solid, but now there's a, there's a Mog Sam over here. So, deliver the letter. What does it have to say? Thank you, thank you, Kupo! Thank you, thank you, Kupo! What? I'm so happy you got a letter. According to rumors, Stiltskin is on a quest to find out why Magnus stopped functioning. I'm sure Stiltskin will find out the truth, Koopa. Why did our machine stop delivering the mail? Why do I have the same voice for every single Moogle in the game? Must be a reason, Koopa. Do you have anything? Okay, no? Okay, well, I'm gonna quickly tent up and save. Alright, we're back. One thing that's been nice is most of the enemies are... Their levels are divisible of 5, most of them are level 30. So, um, losing level 5 death on all my um, enemies is really helping to get through this quickly. So this part is the annoying part that I've been thinking of. 
the demon statue, and on the other side you saw there's an angel statue. So light these two. This isn't really that bad, now that I understand it. Uh, yeah, like I said, I was making this out to be a lot bigger deal than, it sh than I should have been. It made me sound stupid, made the first half of this video sound just retarded. Or not retarded, that's bad. Offering a power, a faithful pattern, extract the strength to resist magic from the hat. And this is a black hood, this is actually something we don't have yet. So that'll be nice. Um, anyways, next, next room. Oh, that's confusing, because it looks like you're going to the other... I mean, you are going to the other side, but it looks like you're going to the right instead of the left. Oh, that's just stupid. So, light the three candles, as you might expect. Actually, you might not expect, because you'd see all these three, like, oh, there must be a certain order to do them in, or something else, or don't do this one, or don't touch that one. So, we'll do that, and uh, touch the bloodstone. After that, we're pretty much done. So, I'm going to be ending off this video pretty quickly, so we can have the next video, the boss fight, and so on and so forth. Offering of power, faithful power, extract the power to dodge magic from the shield. You can read why I make saying all these things. Every single time. It's always the f same first half of the sentence anyways, Venetia Shield. So now what we have to do, which is like, how would you even know to do this? Well, I guess there are clues, but... Unlight that candle. Run over to the other side, we're gonna get to a battle, I just know it. No? We will, don't worry, it's me. Well, sometime we will, and that's it. That's it. That's all. And up there is the boss. So why don't we go up there? Actually, we will go up there next time on Final Fantasy IX. I am Shenji. I don't know how long this video is, but I want to play it safe. So I'm already up to half an hour on the recording. So next time, we'll be facing the boss of the Desert Palace. And then I can relax, because then things get a little more calm. So yeah, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. And goodbye.